Ah, it's terrifying. It's terrifying. What is this? What is this creature? What is this thing? What is this? Oh, my God. It's made sort of all sorts of weird, weird bug parts and stuff. Oh, my God. It's like it's almost like it's a abomination totem. What up? And welcome to Tiny Pirate Gaming. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to find the Abomination Totem schematics. Now, as you can see, the video is starting up here. I am in the pond near the skimmer, and there's a leaf over there by the wall of the pond. This is the back side of the wall near the shed, sort of. So over here is the mysterious machine. That's the mysterious machine. And here I am in the pond, and I'm facing towards where the shed is. And there's a leaf there right by where the skimmer handle reaches the pond. And if you swim down under the water, make sure that you've got a slime lantern, a slime lantern plus if you can. There, you'll find a gap in between the stones and then there's a cave down here. You also want the bubble helmet, make sure you bring that. And inside this cave, you'll start to see all sorts of these ant, ant heads jabbed onto spikes in this underwater cave. And there's some slime mold stalks if you need them. I do need them, so I'm gonna grab them. You could grab those, but you could swim through here. There's also algae if you need that, you grab some of that. But you swim through and it's super creepy. And you're just like, what is, what is happening here? Who did this? How did this happen? Why was this done? Good thing there's slime mold stalks here because I need them. But what's up here? It's an air pocket. <gasps> and what is this thing? Oh my God, what is this thing? It's a creature. It's some sort of weird creature built of various different bug parts. And it's holding the Abomination Totem recipe. And now, once you grab it, you will have the ability to locate the Abomination Totem for yourself. So there you go. I really hope that helped you out. Because then all you got to do is swim on out of here. But I shouldn't have to tell you how to swim on out of here. You just swim back out the way you came. Make sure you got the bubble helmet and make sure you got the slime lantern plus. Make sure you break those things. You always want to bring those things when you're doing underwater stuff. Because that's probably your best underwater utility that you need. You should also bring a spear in case you run into battle. The spear is an essential weapon when you're in the water. Because it's really the only weapon that is effective under the water. You can also use a dagger. But the dagger is not as effective as the spear. Anyway, that's all I'm going to talk about today. I hope this video helped you out and that you were able to find the Abomination Totem Recipe for yourself. And if you were, well, you could help me out by smashing that like button. Just smash it for me. It would be doing me a huge favor. And let me know in the comments if this helped you out because I wanted to make a shorter video that just, you know, went straight into the subject and showed you what was up. So let me know if you really like these more direct tutorials because I will make more direct tutorials that are just like, boom, here it is, in the pond, next to the thing, swim into it, boom, here it's fun, grab it, get it, you're good. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. And if you want to see future Grounded content in the future, don't forget to subscribe. You can subscribe to my channel because that's what I put out is Grounded gaming content and tutorial videos and fun other stuff related to Grounded and other gaming content. So... If you like all that sort of stuff, well, consider subscribing. And I hope this video earned your subscription today. Anyway, thank you so much again for watching. And until next time. Arr, matey. Watch your step. There be a tiny pirate here.